continue with the, the application of expected value. So let's read again at a question on insurance policy. So in the previous video, if you have seen, we talked about how insurance companies decides uh, a particular premium and also decides and can find what's the expected gain that they can have. Okay. So now, yeah, we, it's a, a related question. So yeah, the, what premium should the company charge to make an expected gain of twenty-five dollars per policy? So let's so we let's say let's the pre, let's say let the premium be P. Let the premium they are going to charge is equal to P. Okay, P is the amount of insurance and expected gain that the insurance company wants. Uh, is $25 per policy. So what does this mean? This means if a particular policy is sold for a large number of people, uh, a huge number of people, they're expecting to gain uh, gain $25 per policy. Okay, so that's what uh, that they're thinking of. Okay, and uh, the insurance amount is 50000 Okay. And, and the probability that a person dies of that category is 0 0.09. So the probability, so let's write the fact that we have, the probability of death is 0 0.009. This is 0 0.009. So this means, this implies the probability of the policyholder being alive would be 1 minus the probability that a person dies 0 0.009 so let's use the calculator to be safe so this is 1 minus 0 0.0009 okay that is uh it's 0 0.009 sorry it's 1 minus 0 0.009 which is 0 0.991 so the probability that a person is alive is 0 0.991 Okay, so which are the two scenarios? So let's talk about the two scenarios. So let us make up, say this is, say this is your random variable X, and this is the probability of the random variable. So X stands for the gain. So we are interested in gain. Gain is your random variable. Okay, so there are two scenarios the, for, for the insurance company. Uh, one is, say, let's say, let's start with the positive that a policyholder is alive, and or the policy holder dies. There are two scenarios. One is death, and the other is alive. Now, if the policyholder is alive, they would gain the premium. The gain that the insurance company have would be to get the premium, and the prob and the respective probability of that happening is 0.991 okay and the other situation or the scenario is the gain would be p minus 50000 because if the person dies the insurance company has to pay this 50000 so the gain would be negative so p is the p is the premium minus 50000 because uh, the insurance contract starts after the person pays the premium. So they would have to pay 50000 but they would have got the premium from the person who has died, unfortunately. And the probability for that thing to happen is 0 0.009. Okay, so we can say, let's write the formula. The expected value of a random variable x is sigma i from 1 to n, 1 to n of xi times probability of xi. So what does this mean? We have this, let's so let me change color. The probability of uh, the expected value is 0. Point, sorry, the probability, sorry, the expected value of this situation is 25. They want to gain they have want an expected gain of $25.
okay, expected profit or gain of $25. So I can say this 25 is equal to P times P times 0 0.991, which is this is your, this is nothing but your XI, and this is nothing but your P of XI. So this is your random variable, uh, this is your, this is your random variable, and this is your probability of that random variable. So this is P times 0 0.991 plus, because it's sigma, uh, 0 0.991, 0 0.009 times the respective uh, random variable. So I'm writing the other way around, minus 50,000. So let's do a little of uh, algebraic manipulation. So let's expand this bracket. So this is 25 is 0 0.991p plus 0.009p minus, let's do 50,000 times, 50,000 times 0 0.009 which is 450. So I'll say this is minus 450. I just expanded the bracket. So this, if you add, this will be nothing but 1P. Okay, so let me show that. Show you that. So this is 0.991 plus 0 0.009 is 1. So this is nothing but 25 is equal to P minus 450. So now adding 450 to both sides, so 25 plus 450 is equal to P. Okay, so your P is $475. So if the insurance, what does this mean? If the insurance company is charging a premium of 475 for a policy of 50,000, so let me explain that. If the premium, if the premium that they are charging is 475. So let's understand the maths behind this. If the insurance company, if it's charging 475 as premium for a policy of 50,000, and if you know this fact that the probability of a policy holder of that age group dying is 0 0.009, that it is, you can say with reasonable confidence that if this policy is sold for a number of people, for a large number of people, they can expect to gain $25 per policy. That's the whole uh, example about application of expected value in uh, calculating premiums.